In this video, we're going to look at how to comment on student work. So we'll start off in classwork. And here's our first assignment here that we have, and a student has turned it in. So we're going to click on that, open up the student's assignment. And there's a couple of places that you can make comments. Uh, if you're going to use this comment box, and this is an image, you can highlight an area and make a comment. And we'll look in a minute what it looks like on the student's end. Uh, but there's another place here that you can make a private comment. So I'm going to label this one as private comment so you can see the difference uh, between the two and what it looks like for the students. So you can just post that. Remember to assign the student a grade and return it. So when it's an image, now we're going to hop over to what that looks like for the student. My classwork page, here's the image assignment. They have to click on the assignment and open the image. And remember, we posted a comment, but on the images, the students won't see the comments posted here. On the images, they will only see the comments posted down here in the private comment. So just be aware of that whenever you are providing comments to students. Even though you have that ability on your image file for on the teacher side, just know that the students um, probably will not see it on their end. And then here's where the student will see their grade for their work. Let's look at some other examples of assignments. Uh, so if you have a classwork page, uh, here's an example of a PDF. Same thing. Student has turned it in. We can open that up. And in this instance, I have made some private comments and I've also highlighted and made some regular comments over here on the side. So let's look at the student's view of that assignment. When they click into view assignment, they can see the private comments very easily. And if the document is a PDF, they may see the highlights you made, but they won't necessarily see the comments that go with the highlight. So you might um, just be aware of that as well. Okay, let's look at making a comment on a Google Doc that is sent out for each student to have. So here's one where we uh, provided this document for every student. So you can open up the student's assignment. Then you can view their work. You can use this uh, to make comments here on the side, or you can do the private comments. Again, you can post the grade here and return it. And some of you may have also noticed this comment bank. You can click on the comment bank. In the comment bank, you can add commonly used comments that you'll use for students and add that to your bank so you don't constantly have to retype everything. So this allows you then to click on the three little dots, copy to your clipboard, go back to your grading, and you can post that in private comments here. Or you can post it in this comment section and hit comment. So notice that we've got comments in both areas. We're going to now look at the student side of a Google Doc and what they see as far as comments are concerned. So here's their Google Doc. They view the assignment. Here's where they see all the private comments. And they do have to open up their document in order to see the other comments. The nice thing about these is they can respond if you want them to. They can also respond on the private comment. So back over here, the student can respond to the teacher as well. Okay, so you can see who's making what comments. So I hope that's helpful in how to uh, make comments uh, with your students in Google Classroom.